This is our whanau, our rupu, te waiaiu, based in Rockingham, Perth. Oi It's always been a dream of mine to start a kapaka group inspired by one of my previous tutors, Kiriana Fati, and she just came with this different concept of kapaka, so that's been my mission. The name Te Wai Ayo, the Peaceful Buddhas, Ayo, Peaceful, we want this journey to be peaceful, you know, because in kapaka you tend to daru, 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 I'm better than you, you know, the competition side, and it's ugly, and that's something that Kiriana embedded inside of me, you know, what the purpose of kapahaka is, you know, whanangatanga, just coming together, appreciating being Māori. There are a few groups in Perth, Manawa Mai Tafiti, Te Papakanuya Maui, Te Kuraroa, Wairua Tipuna, and I go in under the name Te Rauhuia, and a, and a couple of others who just get together to jam. We're a new ropu, we've only been together a year, we haven't done any competitions, and I want us to be noticed for our kaupapa. We're working towards getting to Matatini and just showcasing what talents we have. It's a line just going to the source, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the challenges of having a kapakaroku in Australia is just the fact that we don't have access to marae, so we have to utilise the buildings that we use and treat them as a marae. <laughs> We're here in a different country and we can allow all cultures to come together. So we've got Cook Islanders involved with our rōpū and Pākehā. Moses, full Fiji and no Māori um, in the middle. So I've been here for just under two years now. I came over on a contract to play league. I moved over with my family, my, my partner and my daughter. When you go away from home, the one thing you want is, you know, to find another home. Did you expect to find home doing kapaka? It just felt like home when you, you know, you walk through those doors, you take your shoes off. Yeah. Islanders, Maldives, well, respect. The same who we are. Yeah. You know, just their familyhood. What's different about being in Australia is we have to respect this land and the indigenous of this land. In one of our items, we speak of our Aboriginal people. Just, just to show them that we have respect for them, you know, and we have similarities in our cultures. Being here in Rockingham, I've experienced cl a clash between our Māori and Pacific Island people and the Aboriginal people for nothing. When at the end of the day, if we look deeper into it, we could come together. That's another purpose of this rōpū. Pick up each other's lingos. Aboriginals are coming up to you and, Jay bro. Yeah. Oh, Jay bro. <laughs> Up uh, north where I was living. Hey, what now? What now? And that's, that's them saying, What's up? <laughs> Miss you, Fano, and love you, Sheep. Miss you all. Cheer, Fano. Cheer, Tukaha. Nakera, Rakame.